children, my name's Emma. Let's start our letters and sounds lesson and learn to read some new words. Today, we're going to review the new graphemes we've learnt this week for the phonemes v, z, s and f. Let's read some phonemes you already know. I'll show you the graphemes on the cards and I want you to read them aloud. This grapheme can say z or s. This grapheme can say i or i. Now, it's your turn. You ready? Off you go! Let's check you got them right. Read aloud with me. S or Z. I or I. Or. V. O. E. Now I'm going to mix the cards up. Read the graphemes on the cards aloud. Off you go. Let's check you got them right. Read aloud with me. O, S or Z, or F, O, E, V, O, I or I. I. You were superstars with your sounds, children. Now let's read some words with graphemes we already know. Can you spot the digraph? Remember, a digraph, two letters, one sound. Yes, the digraphs are f and the split digraph o. Read each sound as I point, then blend and read the word. Look at the pictures. Point to the picture that matches the word. F O N phone. Here's our phone. Did you get it right? Did you find the phone? Well done. Now, can you spot the digraphs in this word? Yes, the digraphs are here and here. Read each sound, then blend. Point to the picture that matches the word. Horse. Horse. Did you point to the horse? Great job. Now, how about this one? Can you spot the digraphs? Yes, the digraphs are here, here, and here. Read each sound, then blend. Point to the picture that matches the word. Ch, e, z, cheese. Yes, here's the cheese. Did you get it right? Now let's do the last one. 
read each sound, then blend. Okay, point to the picture that matches this word. L -e -v. Leave. Yes, this person is leaving, aren't they? Did you get that one right too? Well done. Now, I'm going to mix the words up. Can you read the words on the cards without sounding out? Let's see how quickly you can read them. Off you go. Let's check you got them right. Read aloud with me and let's see how speedy we can be. Cheese, phone, horse, leave. <gasps> Fabulous work. Now let's read some more words with graphemes we already know. Let's sort some words. Now in these words, is there an I or an I sound? Let's have a look at this one. Read the word. Does it have the phoneme I or I? Help me put it in the correct place. Shout out I if the word has an I sound, like in fish, or I if it has an I sound, like in time, because we use a clock to tell the time. Help me work it out. Is it A, K, T, I, V, or A, K, T, I, V? Hmm. Yes, it's active. Active has the I sound. So where shall I put it? Yes, I'm going to pop it here under the fish. Excellent. Let's do another. Now, read the word. Does it have I or I? Help me work it out. Is it G I? V or G I V. Shout out I or I. Yes, it's give. Give has the I sound. So I'm going to pop it here under the fish. Excellent. Let's do another one. Now, read the word I or I. Help me work it out. Is it n i s or n i s? Tell me. Point to where you think it should go. Yes, it's nice. Nice has the i sound, so I'm popping it here under time. Let's do another. Now, read the word i. Or I. Help me work it out. Is it m i s or m i s? Shout out i or i. Yes, it's mice. Mice has the sound i like time, so I'm popping it here under time. <gasps> Brilliant children. We've sorted all of the words. Now I'm going to mix them up. Can you read the words on the cards without sounding out? Let's see how quickly you can read them. Off you go. Let's check you got them right. Read aloud with me. Nice. Give, mice, active. Incredible reading today, children. Now it's time for the tricky words. Can you read the tricky words on the cards from this week? Off you go.
Let's read them together. Should, there, could, work, where, who, were, would. Now, let's read them quickly. I'm going to mix them up and I want you to read them aloud. Are you ready? Over to you. Now let's read them together. Were, work, where, who, should, there, could, would. Did you get them right? Well done everyone. Let's read a sentence now with graphemes we already know. Can you see any words with digraphs, two letters, one sound. Yes, these words have digraphs. I, f, o, v, I, or, and, s. Now I want you to read aloud as I point to the words. Remember to sound out any words you're not sure of. Fabulous reading. Now let's read the sentence together. Read with me as I point to the words. Would you like to phone this nice horse? Let's read the sentence one more time. Would you like to phone this nice horse? Hmm, do you know, I'd love to have a chat on the phone with a nice horse. I wonder what the horse would say though. Wow, great reading today children and now let's finish by spelling some words because if you can read a word then you can have a go at spelling it. You will need paper and something to write with. Let's spell two words with graphemes we already know. Let's spell nice. Segment the sounds with me. Nice. N -I -S. Let's count how many sounds there are. N -I -S. That's three sounds. Watch me write nice. I need to remember three sounds. It starts with n. The I sound is made with the letter I and then the letter E at the end of the word. So this is written like this. Then we add the letter C to make the s sound. But you need to write the letters in the right order, like this. Nice. N -I -S. Now, let's hide the word. You have a go. Say the word. Say the sounds, write them down. Okay, are you ready? Let's check our spelling. You show me your spelling. Did you get it right? Nice, n-i-s, nice. Well done, let's try another one. Let's spell active. Segment the sounds with me. Active. A -k -t -i -v. Let's count how many sounds there are. A -k -t -i -v. That's five sounds. Watch me write active. I need five sounds. A.
A. V is a digraph. Two letters, one sound. So I need to write two letters. Active. Act. I. V. Now, let's hide the word. Now you have a go. Say the word. Say the sounds. Write them down. Are you ready? Did you get all five sounds? Right, let's check our spelling. Show me your spelling. Did you get it right? Act -i -v. Active. Well done, children. You worked so hard practicing reading and spelling. See you soon for another lesson with letters and sounds.